Hi everyone, welcome to day 19th of my 30 days SQL challenge series where I solve data analysis and business analysis interview question for SQL. So today we'll be solving one question that was asked in Google interview question for data analyst. So let's see the question first. Get the count of distinct students that are not unique. So in the table we have student ID and the name of the student. So let's understand the questions. It asks for the distinct student that are not unique. So not unique basically means the student name shouldn't be basically same with another student name, right? So that's how we can find out if it's a distinct student or not. So in the table we have like two ram you can see and two robert so these two names are not distinct but this rohim that we have that is the distinct name right so we can go ahead and solve these questions using basically you know group by and having clause and then we can use a basically sub query so let's go ahead and solve it so we can first select account functions to basically count the name or you can say count of everything and uh, we'll name it as like as distinct student records or you can say count here yeah? we'll just say count distinct student count now we can go ahead and uh, use a sub query to basically you know use the having conditions so we can just go ahead and use a sub query and set the subquery we select select name and we will be using basically a count functions to basically group by the name so we'll say count of name and as to tell uh, it's fine we can just skip it and we'll be using from student names so i'll just explain what i'm doing i'm using a group by by the name so what i'm doing basically in this inside this you know sub query i'm basically selecting the name and i'm basically grouping this records by and i'm grouping this row queries by the name and basically taking out the counts of that name so basically if the name appeared like twice so this count will return like two if the name appeared thrice this count will return the three so basically i'm grouping by each name so if i just go ahead and run it let's go ahead and run it and we'll see it so now you can see i'm simply grouping by the name so now this name which is robert it, it is actually appearing twice and the rohim that is also ram that is also appearing twice but this rohim appearing once so simply simply we can go ahead and use having filter now having count of basically name having count of name is basically one if you just select one so we will be what we're saying if the name count is one then just return that right so this should basically return one which is name which is rohim and the count is one now using a sub query basically we are just selecting the count of the total rows in this uh, query right so we can just go ahead and use a name which is sub query uh, let's just delete it for now uh, if we just go ahead and run it oops. now you can see that it's giving us one because in the record we only have one name which is distinct and not unique with others so that's how basically we have solved this problem so that is it for this video thank you so much for watching the video till the end if you really like my content do subscribe to my youtube channel if you have any other approach to solve this problem leave in the comment sections i would love to see them and thank you so much have a good day take care